good starting with starting with the, the leg rolls because they're <laughs> slightly less complex movement and that can just get yourself uh, get yourself warmed up or the spine mobilized before you come onto the more complex arm led movement. <laughs> That's nice, Corey. <laughs> Nice, Linda. <laughs> really fluent, Tom. Ooh. That was looking really good to start off with there, though, TJ. That was, that was great extension on the hip. It's not far, it's not long at all before you'll be able to do that without the uh, thread and the needle. Yeah, this is a long curve. Uh-huh. That's great, that Gary. Just the uh, only thing I would say is if you can try to slow it down even more it's just that extra little bit of control but that that's really good hey crispin's with us as well hey crispin oh he's not on audio yet yeah. hey right, crispin cameras yep hey hiya sorry we're late guys all right I'm gonna try to slow that down a bit, Jules. That looked a little bit like a you know a, quite a dynamic movement, as if you were not. I wouldn't go as far as saying stamping, but it was a dynamic movement with the leg and the shoulders sort of went at the same time. So it was it was hard hard to prove that it was just the hips that were leading. So integrate your breathing if you can, mate. Yeah, much better, much better, mate. Careful with your can I roll onto the table? Camera's set up nice there, Luke. If you want to show us a roll. Uh -huh. Said so the camera is set up nice there. If you if you want to show us a roll. Hmm. Yeah, leg rolls cool. Hmm. Not not bad, Luke. You can come see if you can come back. That's not bad as well. If you just just look in and I'll um just make a a little bit of a a little bit of a point, which would be a correction to your to your leg roll. Now, if you saw Luke's leg roll, the basic mechanics was all pretty good. But what happened is started there, and then when he was in this position, he then straightened the leg. Now. What we're after doing is trying to well, tr trying to control the levers and control how the levers are working for us. So when the, the levers this side of the axis working against us, so gravity's got hold of it. So we want it as short as possible. Then once we get it across the axis, it's working for us, but we want to retain control. So if we go too long too early, 
Gravity is going to grab hold of it and throw us over. We want to make it nice and controlled. So what you want to do is there, take it over nice and slow. And keep the knee bent until the foot finds the floor. And then you don't have to do it with any force at all. You just keep sliding that leg out. And then the shoulders will come over in a really controlled fashion. So basically, when you come over, keep that knee bent. Keep the knee bent until the foot finds the floor. And the reason is, if you use too long a lever, gravity will get hold of it and throw you over really quickly. You know? That all makes sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to uh, try a breath song? Yeah. <laughs> The, the pattern which we're going to be looking at today or, or is the focus of the session, excuse me, the focus of the session, it's actually half kneeling to standing. Now, if you're in a half kneeling position, you're going to need a dissociated spine. So, so the rolling is really relevant there. Uh, also, the asymm asymmetrical hip position is relevant. So the breath cell with its dissociated spine and asymmetrical pelvis is perfect for us and as an intro it's absolutely perfect because it's still got the supported spine i.e the spines on the floor so see how we go <laughs> oh you you still you going for the roll there are you gary uh, i'll just keep it on gary while he go sorry tj if you want to go for that, that roll so bend at the knee. And then it's lifting that knee up. That's it. Now keep lifting at the knee. And you just hang out there, mate. Just 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 be patient. Just be patient and keep reaching with keep pulling that knee back. And gravity will, will get hold of it. And just leave it there. And and gravity will start to win and start to turn you over. So keep reaching that knee back behind you and rotating at the hips. You don't have to force it. And then you can maybe, if you take that left hand out a little bit to say towards 10 o'clock, and you can give yourself a little bit of a push just to get that hip over, lift with the knee. Keep lifting and keep rotating. You, oh, you're so going to get there. That's it. Just just that little bit of a push. Yeah. That's all right, Gary. There, uh, TJ. Sorry, TJ. That's, that is definitely going to come. The most difficult thing to acquire is that extension of lifting the knee. And you've got that. And so when you thread the needle now, just be really self-indulgent about making it a uh, an expansive movement of lifting that that knee up, keeping it bent, um, just like a scorpion's tail, right round to touching that toe down. And you know, it looks so close at the minute to being a really expansive, really satisfying roll. So that's going to come dead quick. Just get yourself into a breath zone now, mate. A bit like this one from Jules, which is excellent. Can you look any more over that right shoulder, Jules? Yep. Yeah. And then you, once you're in that position as well, if you are really comfortable and that, make sure that left, that right knee is as high as you can. Basically, you, you know, past the waistline. Yeah. Because that, that, that will lock your lower lumbar in, in place. And if you can, you can just rock side to side in there. So by, you know, pull that right knee down and allow the, the left to come up and just rock side to side. That looks really nice, Amber. Good. Your knee's got no complaints with that, or was the was it the right one that was a bit sore? Mm -hmm. That looks really good, Gary. And so the one for you, I know you want to look at your screen there when you're in that position. 
would be to look over your right shoulder. That that's it. That because you turn your cervical spine as much as you can rotate it to the right, that then allows your thoracic spine to rotate more to the right. And Julie has set you up great there, TJ. That's excellent. That's really good. I like love that little arrangement with the uh, with the with the band. See what else we've got. Something help. Yeah, that's nice, Tom. Sorry. That's good with the headrest as well. All righty, guys. Um gonna keep this one um everyone going as a group because there's a a lot of, of patterns I want to get through tonight. Um, but the next one I'm going to go for is the bird dog. Uh, now, not everyone has got competency in the bird dog. And so if you haven't, here's what I want you to do. What I'm going to ask you to do is just come out here and then push to the rear. Now, remember, it's a sequence to go through. So the sequence... We're going to go from line, wrong, prone, one elbow under the shoulder, two, knee comes out and up, or the knees under the hips. Get the knees under the hips or slightly ahead of them. Keep in those knees there. Get the hands directly under the shoulders. So I've got big long arms as columns, and that's putting my shoulders higher than my hips. So my spine has to go into extension. And I get that nice lumbar curve. Then if you if you if you're struggling with the bird dog and you just go with the legs to the rear, first of all, don't go to the midline. Keep it. Keep it out to the side. So what I'd like you to do, first of all, do the empty step. Make sure you can feel your weight through the, the two hands at the front and then through the, the knee that's not going to move. When you can feel your weight through them, heads up looking forward. Big breath in and then Push that leg to the rear, but don't go to the midline on this. Only go to start going to the midline after you've got competence at putting the leg straight out behind the hip. For those who have got competence in the bear's dog, big breath in again, and you're going to reach forward and reach to the rear. It's not so much lifting them up, it's reaching forward and back. Oh. Well, let's have a little look at you, Gary. Try and do it in that in that set pattern there, mate. So you go into the sphinx first and then with the elbows down, bring the knees under. And that looks really stable, mate. I bring that knee back under and swap to the other side. Excellent. Make sure you're integrating your breathing, guys. And then also take a little check look to your camera to make sure you're happy with that quadruped position. So, well, the knee, that's, that's it. There, there's your, your perfect position. Knees slightly ahead. And then see, see if you can change that, that spinal position. Having your head up. No, other way around, mate. That, that's it. And see if you can pull that lower back curve in. Yeah, that's better. I've got a nice stable position. 
and then push that foot to the rear. <laughs> That's looking solid, looking rock solid there, Gary. You've got that nice lumbar curve as well. And then once you're competent with that and you're confident, you can then think about pushing the leg to the midline when it goes to the rear. That's nice, Linda. <laughs> Make sure you make sure you reach with that leg to the rear though, because there was a bit of a um, okay. bend in the knee. And that is beautiful. Well done, Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to find TJ. Is he still in here? Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> He's on screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Just keep taking your time. Get that other knee under first before you move your hands, uh, TJ. Mm -hmm. If you went through with, with attention to detail on that sequence, TJ, you'd have had both knees under the hips before you come off your elbows. Mm -hmm. Now that all looks pretty good, uh, although I wonder if either the hands or the knees might be too wide because of the, the shape of the spine. That might also be because the head isn't up looking forward. See. Now remember, when you put, put the foot to the rear, don't go to the midline. Keep it behind your hips. That will make give you more rotational stability so either on a big in breath or a forced out breath whichever feels best to you you can have those toes tucked under if you can now, now what happened there tj not only did you go towards the midline you went past the midline so you, you, you took that right leg over to the left side he can't tell where it is he's saying yeah and so what what we want to do then is instead of pushing it out so quickly we just want to keep pushing it out small movements and just check with julie whether it's going back in a straight line or not i mean really try to focus on that yourself going back in that straight line but julie will tell you <laughs> Jules, you can have the make sure you reach in with that leg when it goes out behind because you, you want to make sure it's a real straight leg. You don't want any bend in that knee. All right, so let's have your feet and knees together, TJ. Feet and knees together, he said. Yeah. So it's, it's okay. You can you can carry on from there, mate. It was just to get you in the right start position. Don't put your arms up yet. Just your knees. What? Just knees, not arms yet. Uh, okay. well, TJ will go right from the very very top. So feet and knees together, <laughs> lying lying down on your chest, arms out in front. And so the first movement is to pull the right elbow under the shoulder, then pull the left elbow under the shoulder. That's it. Good thinking, mate. You didn't want it too far past. Now that's good. So you can see you've got those upper arms are nice and vertical. So that's going to give you enough room. Now bring that right knee up to hip height. That's it. Now make sure your breathing's fine. So cycle a big full breath into that abdomen and then you're going to push that right knee into into the floor and then you're going to bring that left knee under your hips and the weight's going to go onto your elbows as well yeah that's it now bring them both under okay we can... yeah when you want those knees under before the elbows come up because otherwise hands are too far ahead. That's it. Now, one at a time, mate. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now your hips are fine. Hips and knees are fine. Don't move them. And we just want to move those hands so they're underneath the shoulders. Now that's good. Now try and get that lower back curve and breathe into your abdomen. Now what I want you to do, full breath into the abdomen and I want you to try and move that right leg back straight with just a small amount. So big breath in and then forced out breath as you move it back just a small amount. That's it. And pause. As soon as you start getting a bit of a tax here, you can just pause. That's in the right direction. Excellent. Head up, looking forward. Head up. Because that's what's going to give the information into your balance system. Now I want you to bring that knee forward and underneath your hips. On an out breath. Big, big full in breath and then on that. One. Excellent. Now make sure you, you feel confident and stable again. Head up and get that lower back curve. Big full breath into your abdomen and then just move that left leg back just a small amount. To, that's it. And push it a little bit further because it's going right. Big full breath. Big full breath. Get control of that breathing. In through the nose. That's it. Pull that knee forward. Pull the knee forward. Excellent. Nice, TJ. Bang on, TJ. That's great stuff, mate. And then if you want to get down out of that position, you can sink back onto your heels. And then you can work your way out, either going onto your elbows, coming down flat, and then getting the leg out. But whatever way feels comfortable to you. That's great stuff, TJ. Mm. And you, you can see how if you just take it slow, that slow down, breathe, and figure it out, you've got a, a real base layer that you can build there and do it with, with little risk. And then it should be quite clear that, that will be able to transform into um, into crawling. Excellent, mate. Well done. Okay, okay. Really nice, TJ. Well done. Thank you. Anyone else any any questions on that one? Mm. Right. Okay. Next movement is the quadruped rotation. And so TJ and Gary can practice keep practicing that uh leg extension. And then what we're gonna do is <clears throat> here, leg comes out, rotate round, come up. Walk back down. Come on. I do it to the other side. Now, know when you come up, you don't just take the hands up. You shift the hips back so your center of gravity is going to be over that knee. And drop the toes down if you want so you can come right back. Head comes up, wide chest, squat up. Keep that chest wide and high as you come back down. Found. Amber, will your knees take that one? Yeah. I don't want that. Go see. Yeah. Okay. I don't want that. Yeah. The leg and the muscle. Well, it behaves. Well, no, quickly. Oh, what happened there, Linda? I thought, <laughs> did we do this as a group or? Uh, as well. as yeah, I was actually just doing it with uh, with Amber, but then you were, your setup was looking perfect. So I was just going to come in while Amber was getting into position. Ah, I stopped while I was no. to look at Amber. Uh, no. no, Amber. No, the little girl 
Was that because was that because of pain? Was it? Too much. Yeah, that's ah, no problem. Well, Linda was desperate to get in the spotlight anyway, so. Linda, yeah. And see how she came back there to put her centre of gravity over the knee so she could come up. And that's it. <laughs> Excellent. And then even turning the other way around so she gets that side to the camera. Mm. Although, well, you know, you, you rushed that one, you didn't move your weight back, but it's only because no. of your movement competence, you know? I didn't think of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. Well done, Linda. Jules, let's have a look at you, mate. That's it. Now move. That's it. Move back. Excellent. Really good. Oh, that's interesting, mate. Mm. You felt you couldn't squat out of that one. Yeah, I couldn't get back up. Mm. Yeah. Well, did it feel like there was too much weight behind the knee? Did it feel? Uh, the leg just didn't quite have the strength. So I couldn't couldn't say why. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, what one of the one of the things if, uh, if it could be behind the reason. Now, if I let's let's take it from the point of view of the of a full of a, of a half squat, if I'm here. If I'm come up straight here and then try to come up, I'm putting a load of stress through my knees here because it's a big long lever, and all of the weight is at the end of the lever. Mm. Here's the axis of rotation here, and all of the weight's back here. However. If I move the center of gravity over the axis of rotation, you come up really nice. So potentially that was what was going on. And so if I then came out into the position you were in, you've got a couple of options. First of all, you could do it with the toes tucked under. You won't go as deep. And then you can practice from that position. And or you can also put the hands on there to, to help to start getting awareness of the, the mechanics of it but even if i drop the toes down so i can go all the way back yeah. notice how yeah, I yeah, forward yeah. so that the, the center of gravity is over the axis of rotation head comes up yeah. Yeah. that's have a little look at the next one. So if you sink all the way back, now that's it, and then keep leaning forward, and then you, you're gonna that's it. You're gonna have to keep up. You know, maybe came up a little bit too early there, mate. Yeah, just it goes in the thigh. Yeah, but you know. Oh, come on, come. Good girl. Excellent. Good girl. Yeah. I'm just talking to a dog there, not you, by the way, Jules. <laughs> Good tonight. <laughs> Corey, let's have a look at you, mate. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. Really smooth, Corey.
to. Nice post, nice crawling pot, quadruped posture there, mate. Mm -hmm. And what everyone may have noticed there is Corey deliberately crossed his hands. It's um, quite an important neurological uh, skill that is being able to cross either the, any of your limbs over the midline. It, it's uh, a really specific neurological challenge. Well done, Corey. Thank you. Uh, to have that head up before you move that leg back, TJ. That's it. If you can get that lumbar care. Whoa, too quick, mate, too quick. Remember, mm -hmm. slow down, breathe, and figure it out. <laughs> Let's see you go with that, Gary. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Oh. And we reset your position before you put the other leg out because the knees are too far forward. Just walk forwards with the hands a little. Forward with the hands a little, Gary. That's it. And get get the feel of the position. Now, if you move your weight forward now with the head up, see how that position feels. That's much stronger, and you're not waving, wavering it as much. That's great, that Gary. You can replace that knee, and now just try a bit of crawling from that position. Bring that right knee is right knee first, right knee forward. Oh. Right. Right. So what what's happening there, guys, is when you're bringing the knee forward, you're bringing it towards the other knee. You're bringing it towards the midline. So if if you first of all just pay a bit of attention to your quadruped position, and so get so you're happy in the in the quadruped. Everything slow. Yeah, it's too too big a movement with the uh, with, with the knee because you haven't quite got control of it yet. You put a big movement in. First of all, you're not necessarily going to have control of where it goes to, but then also a big movement is going to need to be controlled, and it's always the in deceleration where where we have least control. So I would get into quadruped, get it so it feels strong. Now, now breathe first, mate. Now, was that was that your right knee movement then, or I, I think your knees are far enough forward there? I think it's just a small movement with the left hand. Breathe. The moment any attack, that's it. Now, small movement with the with the left knee. Try not to go hands first, so right knee first. That's it. Then the left hand. Now try to bring... That's it. Excellent, Gary. Really good. Remember, so breathing and control is the key thing for you. And the moment you, you feel that the position isn't strong, just reset it. Don't feel obliged to have to continue from whatever position you're in. Have I uh, missed anyone out on that? Uh, yeah, of course, Luke. <laughs> so concentrate on a good quadruped position first, Luke. Yes. All right. 
Bienvenidos, sopa tu en tu futuro. Lega. Out. So try to get tall in that position over that down knee. And then just yeah. breathe in that position. That's that's quite a strong position, that loop. Well done. Thank you. But if you just look in on this one, Luke, if you see what, what we actually want you to do here, though, is rather than it's not, that, that's not the movement we want you to do. What we want you to do is get in the quadruped, leg to the rear, walk the hands round. So you're in that position with the leg out. Then, okay. then go back onto the heel. If you're confident without your hands, come up like that. Oh, yeah. more, this is going to be more stable than just coming up um, into forward half kneeling. But if you're not confident without the hands, use your hands. Come up to that position, and then on a big in breath, come up to there with that leg out to the side, and then you to, to get out of it, you move the hips back, then the hands come down. Mm. So that foot on the foot goes on the floor, Luke. That left. Yeah, so you need to be able to push a straight leg out to the rear with the foot on the floor. So no, no Luke, it the, the foot stays on the floor all the way back. You haven't got you haven't got enough room with the sofa behind you. You have to turn to your to your right. And now push your left your left foot out, but on the floor. Put the foot on the floor. Foot on the floor, Luke. So straight, yeah, but straighten the leg out with the foot on the floor. That that's it. Now turn here, gauche. Walk your hands around as if you're crawling. Yeah, no, keep the ha both hands on the floor. Both hands on the floor, Luke. Okay, Luke, if you're turning to look at me. What you do... The leg goes out and stays on the floor. And then you turn on the knee. Yes. Then sit back on the knee. Come up. That's it. And so if you turn to your left now, keep both hands on the floor and turn to face the left. Walk your hands round to the left. Keep the left leg out straight. Don't move the left foot. Left foot stays where it is. The right foot can move. But no. Luke, I, I, 
I think I think you'll have to to watch the video to see. Here, here's one way we can do it. If you um, if you turn turn to face the camera on on your in, kneel in front of the camera. So if you can. Just get in the quadruped position, facing the camera. Luke, can you can you turn so you're facing the camera? Yes. All right, and so the next movement, I would like you to, just to come back onto your heels. Keep your hands on the floor and sit on your heels. So you're here. I want, but keep your hands on the floor, Luke. So come back to the quadruped position. Yep. Now keep your hands on the floor. And come back and sit on your heels. Keep your hands on the floor, Luke. Yes. Yeah, keep. See how I, I, I'm in the quadruped position now. And then my hands don't move. Don't move your hands. Sit, sit on your heels, but don't move your hands. That's it. Now, keep your hands on the floor. Hands on the floor, Luke. Put your right leg out to the side. That's it. Now, sit. you've got to sit back on your left heel. Keep your hands on the floor. That's it. Now, put your hands either side of your left knee. Your hands by your left knee on the floor. That's it. And then use your hands to stabilize. Get your head high and come up. So try to straighten out. Get your head high. You can lift your hands now and get high. Big breath into the abdomen. Big breath in. Excellent, Luke. Mm. really yeah. good and now to come back down move your hips to your ankles now slowly 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 excellent Luke well done brilliant mate <laughs> that's alright mate <laughs> that was excellent well done Luke yeah. Next movement is going to be the Turkish get up to half kneeling, which I will go to Corey first. Yeah. The points to notice on the setup is the angle of the legs. Mm. You can see how his heel is outside the line of his hips. And they're both pointing at 45 degrees. Rolls onto his shoulder. Watch, he's going to push through the elbow and flip the hand. And then the leading hand draws an arc. Nice high hips. Hand back down, hand goes by the knee. Now watch, watch how the knee stays low and the foot sweeps out past the other foot. Well done, Corey, excellent. Mm -hmm. How do you think you'll do with that, Amber? Um, not far. 
not far, but a little. I can hold a cow, not far at all. And so attention to detail, that's it. Draw the arc as you flip onto, draw the arc with a hand, that's it. Well done. Well, that might be it. Oh, that's okay. So, Amber? Yeah. Stay, stay, stay where you are there. Stay where you are there. And now take that. Leave, leave the left knee. Down? But... No, 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 no. No, come back up. All right. Now leave the left knee where it is, but take the left foot to the right foot. Uh -huh. Okay. But leave that left knee on the floor. Okay. All right. Now All right. you're gonna you're gonna take that right that right knee is gonna go a little bit past the uh, the ankle. Okay. Oh, don't wide. Don't take that ankle to that foot too far away. That's mm. it. And you. Oh. Real good effort. But what happened oh, is no. Amber. Oh, no. Amber. You you pulled you pulled the hand in before you moved. If you look when you go oh, back and, and, and okay. check, so you need enough room to bring that knee under. So take the foot to the foot, get that knee down, and then drive that right heel. See, so just move that hand again. Okay. So that left hand. That's not bad at all, Amber. Sorry, yeah. I get right here. Yeah, so we, we just look, just look in, in on me for a second, Amber, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And it's all about doing this smoothly and under control. There's no aspect of the movement that you should be throwing yourself into. So, <sighs> lean over. And I reach so the hand, so the reaching hand goes past. Mm -hmm. Reaching hand goes past. And then I can feel myself coming onto the elbow now. Then this brings it round like that. Then it's going to reach towards the other foot. And then that's where you get your position. Now take this foot. There. And then keeping this knee down on the floor and that foot on the floor as well. Just lifting that hips up. So I've still got three points of support. The knee, the foot, the hand. Bring her up higher. Now see how I'm going higher. This knee. Mm -hmm. That creates enough room just to move the hips back. The hips are coming back, the shoulders are coming forward. That knee comes under. Uh -huh. And then it's just like that um, leg extension and rotation again. You get the weight, so it's going to be over there, and then you just come up. That's probably one for you to watch on the video there. Come on. Uh, but, yeah. So when I'm coming back, the hips are going to be coming forward and so the shoulders. When I go back, you just drop it down. But the important one for you is foot to foot. You're going to drive the heel in by that knee mm -hmm. moving there. And it only has to come up a little. This is still support. And then the hips back, shoulders forward. That. Mm -hmm. Let's have one last little look at that, Amber. Let's have a little look at that. All right, all right. <laughs> you what? Worry. <laughs> you bet I did. So reach, and the hand goes past the hand. That's it. So you can feel that elbow. There you go. How easy was that? Mm-hmm. Right, and so slow it all down now. Slow it all down. Now you're a little bit too compact. That the hand has to go further out. Now that's further in. 
They that's about that's about mm. right now. You lifted that knee up. Remember? Yeah, you know, yeah. Pause. You want that that left knee stays as support, don't Amber? I go that way. Hold yeah. down. Uh, Amber, don't lift the hips too high. What oh. I want you to do is just lift the lip the hips up a little and just stay in that position. Okay. So that 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 hand's got to go out a little. You keep trying to use the hand to push yourself up. It's got to be that right foot. I, that's still too tight, Amber. Still too tight. The hand's got to go out a little. That, that's fine. That's okay now. Okay. So is the foot to the foot? Um, Amber, li Amber, listen in. Is the foot to the foot? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right, now mm -hmm. that knee is going to stay down. All I want you to do is lift the hips two inches. Don't take that hand in. Lift hips two inches. It goes up. It goes up. So just lift the hips and then hold the position. That's it. I cannot. Mm. That's okay. Nope. Nope. There you go. There you go. And then just shift that foot back. Drive the foot back. The left foot backwards. It won't. It won't. My hip. <laughs> Are you getting there, Sorry. Amber? You're definitely getting there. I keep going. Me either. <laughs> Jules, let's have a look here. Excellent. Really nice, mate. I remember it's that right foot is going to be your driver. So left foot to left foot and get that left knee on the floor. That's it. Now get the right knee's got to go over the that's how you're getting there, mate. Not bad at all. Now what 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 was happening there was that right knee was collapsing inwards yeah. instead of going forward over the foot. Mm-hmm. As soon as that goes forward over the foot, that will give the power in the hips to drive up. Whereas if it caves in, the hips are actually going to drive backwards. Yeah. That was uh, that was. Do you want to try it on the other side? Mm -hmm. That's it. So when you roll onto that shoulder, I want you to reach past your right hand with the left. And you'll feel yourself come onto that elbow. Well, that's it. And now you're going to draw the arc, but push into the ground with that left foot. I think you're too, you're too close to the sofa, mate. If you move over to your... That's it now. So now that, that right leg can go out to 45 degrees now. That's it. Big breath in. You're gonna reach. You gotta reach past. You gotta re the yeah. jewels. Yeah. You're not. You're not on your shoulder. You're behind your shoulder. So you want that's it. And now you're gonna. You've got to come up onto that elbow, onto that right elbow, and flip the hand over. A little bit like that. That'll do for now, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit cheaty. That I think. Yeah. <laughs> So if you can get that right hand down to place it so the fingers are spread. Yeah. And then you want to bring that right foot to the left foot with that right knee on the floor. Right knee on the floor. And so if you have to reorientate your position, do what you got to do. Because at the moment, that that right foot's not going to get past the left, is no, it? I'm, no. Yeah. That's good. So now remember, it's that left foot is the key. That knee's got to get over that left foot. That's it. Go on, just drive up that left knee. Come, yes, excellent, mate. Big breath in. Get 
Mate, don't don't shake your head, mate. That's getting there. That was that was, that was definitely getting there. And yes. once you start getting, you know, familiarity with where you need to go, it, it it won't be an exploratory challenge then. And you you can focus on the quality within each each aspect of it. That was really good. Thank you. Cheers. Luke, how are you in this movement, mate? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So onto the shoulder. That's it. Now reach past, flip onto the elbow. That looks good. Right now. Yeah, so. Luke, not not bad at all, but but you you could have made it easier for yourself by bringing your right foot in to the left, or you lifted the hips. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah, but I can do it. Mm hmm. And now, Arete, Arete. I don't know how to do it. That was good, mate. That was good. Big breath in as you come up. Big breath in. Yeah. Well done, Luke. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Mm -hmm. Really well done. Now the right hand goes down by the right knee. And then keep the knee low. No, bring the foot to the foot. Foot to the foot. Bring it inside. Yes, inside. Yes. Excellent, Luke. Well done. Down onto the elbow. That's it. Stay rotated. Because you didn't rotate, gravity got hold of your torso. Linda? Oh, yep. Yeah. That's it. Keep the knee low. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Great, Linda. Great. The elbow, yes, yes. Very well done. That's great, that, Linda. Are you just as good on the other side? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Sit nice and slow. Pause for your breath if you need to. Yes, that's great. Excellent. That's fine. Yeah, Linda, now try that's it. Just with one hand now. Now keep that knee down and go foot to foot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Now now onto the elbow. Be disciplined, shoulder. Excellent, Linda. Uh, it gets better. Yeah, I, but I, I also think you can practice that from the top down and then mm -hmm. try to come up again. So allow your descent to inform your ascent. And if you, yeah. you just repeat what you did. And there's, you know, there's no way you, you can't repeat each one of those. You know, because with the descent, you're actually moving with gravity, so it's hard to control. It, it, it's just the technique, and it shows it's there if... If you're aware of what needs to go where, really good, Linda. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Gary, let's have a look at you, mate. So, oh, that's it. Onto, yeah, now if you did that a little bit slower, that would have been grand. Now have that right leg coming out at 45 degrees. Both legs at 45. So go back to the start, guys. Go back to the start. Now, 
a tab. Make sure both of those legs are going out at 45 degree angles. Mm -hmm. Your left looks fine. The right looks as if it's the right foot's in front of the hips. That's that. That's good. So big breath in, and then on the out, on the yeah, but don't throw yourself in. That's good. Gary, that's great, but don't throw yourself into the movements. That's good. And then just bring just bring the foot to the foot. So bend that. That's it there. And if you just put if you put your right hand on the floor, just past the knee. And then just bring that knee underneath, go into the quadruped position. Now think about the hands. The hands are wide, guys. Guys, whoa. Yeah. Hands were too wide there. Yeah. Pretty good, mate. I have the the one the one tip I would uh, get you to specifically think about is when you're coming over with the hand, you're coming over with the arm like that. Now that that's a big heavy arm, that's a long lever. And so that's why you have to throw yourself into the movement. Instead, just do it as an arm led roll. You've got this foot on the floor can help drive the roll. And just bring the arm across like that. And then big breath in. And just do that simple movement like that. And that's the difference between slow controlled quality, where you just go pushing that foot. The difference between that and like that, which that's you know, that's not what we want. But you've definitely got the moves there, Gary. And that's that's quite a complex movement. Well done. Mm. TJ, do you want to have a um a little go at the start of that. So legs at 45 degrees. <laughs> That's it. Left arm out at 90 degrees. I want a big breath in. And then I want that right hand to touch your left hip. That's it. Big breath in and on the out breath. I want you to reach with your right hand and I want those fingertips past the fingertips on the left. And so do that on the out breath. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, because you've gone past those fingertips, that's it. Keep reaching, keep reaching. TJ, that's awesome. <laughs> TJ, that is brilliant. Now what I want you to do, keep that left knee exactly where it is. And I want, but I want you to bend it and bring the left foot to the right foot. Have, have the right hand the other side of the knee. That's it. Now bring that, bring that left foot behind the right foot now. Excellent. And then I bring that right hand, bring it over and bring it a shoulder's width away from the left hand, and we're going to take it into the quadruped position. Okay. Bring turning. it towards the left hand, keep turning. That's it. Excellent. And then bring that right knee round to the floor. Excellent, mate. Ooh. Oh, he moved the wrong foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right knee round, left knee There back. you go. Mm. That's mm. it. Now move, put that right hand further out to the right so you've got to get your weight over. Left hand comes back a bit. So you can put your weight on that. That's it. Now can you walk forward on those hands? Keep coming forward. Get them a little narrower. That's it. Keep coming forward. Big breath into that abdomen. 
and come up into the quadru quadruped position. Gonna bring those hips forward. Hands forward. Left hand forward, TJ. Arizona left or whatever you know. <laughs> hey. TJ, that mate is awesome. Big <laughs> breath. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Good. Oh, gone for the finale there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, <laughs> that was brilliant. Go from went from supine <laughs> into the half Turkish get up and then into quadruped position. <laughs> that that's awesome, mate. <laughs> um, no, that's too dress. Right. Uh, two movements left, and the next one. Uh, oh, you forgot oh. Tom. Oh, Tom. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there quietly until Linda blew you up, mate. Throw that cover, yes. <laughs> I all right, so that left foot is pointing at six o'clock, mate. So you, you want that. That's it. Uh, that, that's it, Nilo. Perfect. Great yeah. stuff, mate. Yeah. That's it. Try to keep that knee low when you're swinging out. That would certainly help you when you're doing it with the kettlebell and you need that little bit more control. That's it. So keep the knee low. That's it. Nice. Excellent, mate. Well done, mate. Good job. Uh, what I was going to go to now is the um, step and slam with the um, with the Indian clubs, which is probably going to be limited to. Maybe only um, uh, three or four of you. So let's see who gets mm. there in the clubs first. Mm. By, by the way, Crispin, I I haven't gone too much here, mate. I've just been a <laughs> just been focusing and going down rabbit holes. If you if you got anything you want to lend into the oh, session, mm. mate. No, no, no. I, I'm just, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away by, yeah, what, what you guys are doing. It's just, it's lovely. Do you know what's really nice? Just to step back and watch what's going on. Um, and also to practice. Like, it, it's really interesting. Like, we, Adita and I have been practicing some of these techniques and listening to your instruction. Um, yeah. And just like picking up on different things. So it's brilliant, mate. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, have you got your clubs there, Linda? Oh, I'm just, doing, just was... doing your laces. There yep. right. <laughs> Tom's in place first. So, step mm. and slam, Tom. It's awesome, that, mate. Yeah, what what I think you um, want to try to focus on there is trying to keep uh, trying not to externally rotate the foot when you go back because you you'll be able to, you'll get a better loading of the of the back line if you step back with it the toes sort of pointing forward if you see what I mean. Uh, yeah, it just it helped me keep it balanced. Yeah, yeah, that that that's a fair one, mate. It, it's really complex. Yeah, that was excellent. Really good, mate. Yeah, well done. And it looks like you're getting a bit of power in that slam, and that that mm. that's where you can really get your technique ratified by the fact that you can you know you can really put some some force and violence into it. It Have does help to go slow. Yeah. So remember to go slow into this position. If I that, try to rush it, then I get more off guys. Definitely, mate. Definitely go slow and get quality before, you know, don't yeah. sacrifice quality for speed. You know? Yeah. Speed hides need, so I'm told. 
<laughs> Linda, uh, are those uh, trainers double knotted? Sorry, those sneakers double knotted. <laughs> what would the Dutch call them? Do you call them trainers? Sneakers? What do you call sneakers them? Are, sneakers or sneakers? Sneakers? <laughs> yeah. Pretty splitters. <laughs> Oh, have to That's nice, Linda. You just gotta work on lengthening that back step a little, is all. Or you, you can you can see you've got that awareness of, of keeping of where the weight needs to be for that drive. I can do better than that, but I need my corridor. Yeah. <laughs> so, Adita, oh. where where your problem is, Adita, is you when you step back, uh, you're putting your center of gravity in between your two feet, and so you, you're not getting any spring when you um, when you come forward. What you need to do is be a bit more loaded on the front foot, but that yeah, that heel doesn't go down. You've got to step back. Uh, <clears throat> you've got to step back far enough so you load it like a spring. So I, I, I'll uh, let's see if I can show you here. I haven't got the clubs, but I can improvise a pair. after is that so I've got a bit of a spring in that front foot but this now has loaded the whole of the back line and so on my step forward look I can this pushes me upwards and I, and I unload the spring from there if I shifted in between these I can't get that drive down because I need to step forward. So I'm sinking down. I sink down on the front foot and load the spring to the rear. And then that pushes me up and I slam down. And that's why you, if, if, if you're here, you can't get that, that same violence into the swing. Because you can't translate all of that elastic power from that back foot. You're driving into the ground with the front foot, which that's what allows you to get the hip hinge. And all of this elastic energy just bounces out of that. Feeling me aids today, man. Stiff as anything. I had a run this morning. <laughs> it's, is that was that clear at all, uh, Dita? Yeah. Yes, I think. Yes, I think I'm. Yes, you're right. I'm bringing the the weight forward. So yes, I'll try yeah. again. I, you look like you had it there, Crispin. <laughs> I think Adita had her socks on, so she was slipping yeah, a bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Yes, much better. Thank you. If, you. if you can get a bit of violence into that slam, your your, your system will, your, your neurology will just understand what it needs to do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I tell where's Cody? Okay. 
Um, Ain't we uh, um, just about uh, make it out? Yeah, I know. The song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, better, mate. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fine, mate. I'm still at the red light. Yeah. It's a little hard for me. Yeah, that, that's all right. Because one of the key things to it as well, a little bit like if your center of gravity gets stuck in between the two feet backwards and forwards, yeah. if, you, if you step too wide and bring your center of gravity off that front foot to the side, or one, once again, you, you, you're faced with that same issue. When you move the other foot, you, you've you've got to shift so the body doesn't fall over to the side. You've mm -hmm. got to be able to keep the the weight sort of over that front foot. Yeah, I know it's hard. Yeah, this one I already practice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I well, what you can do is set yourself up in the position. Yeah, you know, um, statically rather than dynamically. And so you yeah. get the feel, and then it's that step forward and slam. See, 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 you're you're leaning over to that right foot, which is what you don't want. You want yeah. to be in a straight line over that left foot. Mm. So shift your shift your weight to your left. So sort of New York left. That's it. Because <laughs> you you can still see you've got your weight down the center. And so the moment that that right leg comes forward everything's gonna fall over to the right yeah and so, you can't, so that that stops you you get that neurological break which doesn't allow you to come down with violence because if you did that would make the fall too heavy yeah it has yeah. the trust in the left side i don't have it in this yeah. room yeah can can you not do it with stepping back with the left then? No, because the um I can't control this one like this one. So would this could step here or here? Yeah, so set but just set yourself up statically. Yeah. Just mind you don't clout the uh, chair with the clubs when you come down. That's a that's a little better. If you can move that that right foot a little bit more towards the midline, that's it. And now now you can get your weight right over. That's it. Now if you slam down, you'd be fine on the step forward. Yeah, much better. Uh, that's that's one you can you can work about with. I think that would be good for you. That mate, if you set yourself up statically with that left behind. It will allow you to understand the movement. And like this, can practice seeing a split. Yeah. Yeah. So you got, but you got to keep that weight more over the front foot, because what what happens is if your weight is in between two points, if you move one of those points, well, everything's going to fall over to to that side. I'd yeah. say so it's got it, it's got to be sufficiently loaded over the foot that's gonna stay there. Yeah. All right, see so well and then the last movement was gonna be the Turkish get up, which includes the um the half nail to standing. Um <laughs> which well, that's. I think that's probably going to be limited to Linda, Tom, and Corey. But let us all enjoy that. Anyone who wants to throw the hat in the ring, obviously can. <laughs> but we'll start with Linda.
All right, so attention to detail. Don't mm -hmm. don't rush through it. I have that dude put my shoes on, but I remember ninety degrees. That's it. So you can daughter flex. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's great, mm -hmm. that Linda. Really like that back step as well. And that's really nice. Excellent, Linda. Top marks. Mm -hmm. Tom. Oh, you haven't got your kettlebells here, mate. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, you want me to do it? Uh, no, no, don't, up to you, mate. Up to you. Whatever you feel you get the best quality. Uh, well, that would be this. I remember that that left foot, though, mate. Let's have that at the angle and pointing out to four to five o'clock. Focus on that 1990. Yes. Big breath in as you push up. Really good, mate. Really good, Tom. I, I... Mm -hmm. Excellent, mate. Well done. That's great stuff. This strength is the hardest. What's that, mate? The descent is the hard part. Yeah, yeah. And then I think Corey will... Uh, Oh, no, Jules wants to have a go with us as well. Oh, I'm just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you, if you want to go to standing from there, first, uh, pause, pause. Yeah. Now, you want, you want to get that front foot so you've got a perfect 90 degree angle at, at the knee. So you're not dorsal flexed at all at the knee. And right, that gives you your starting position. Now, you dorsiflex maximally. You see, because if you, if yeah, I'll tell you what, if you just look in at me for a second. Yeah. Can you explain what dorsiflex is? Uh, oh, yeah. That, that's dorsiflexion. Oh, okay. Leaning yeah. over. Right. So, yeah. If I, if I start off in this position here, mm. I, I can't get any more dorsiflexion. Yeah. That I'm already fully dorsiflexed. And so that means two things. One, I, I'm going to have to push myself straight up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it means I can't load, load this like a spring, which if you're here, mm -hmm. all the while that's loading the spring. And that also means that I can move the weight forward and up and get a little bit of shove off the back foot. Whereas if I'm here, I've just got to go straight up. Yeah. To get any shove off the back, I've then got to try to control that. Whereas if I get here and come there, I can do that under, you know, really controlled. Can't go back to got an injured toe, but that's another story. So if we get you with that perfect 90-90 position, and then that's at your load, and look straight ahead, get your weight. Your weight's got to be over that foot, mate, and you've got to go up rather than forward. Drive that foot into the floor. Big breath in. Excellent, mate. Outstanding, mm -hmm. Jules. Great stuff, mate. I'll take his get ups one for you then, bud. Thank you. Yeah, work on it. Outstanding, Jules. Come on, Corey. You've been showing how to do it, mate. So good, yeah, sure. Hmm. Keep the knee low. That's it. Excellent, mate. Excellent.
Right now, at the, at the moment, mate, your, your weight is leaning towards that chair. So move, move closer to the chair so you don't have to lean towards it if you need it. Right now, you look as if you're already dorsiflex there. That doesn't look like it's necessarily ninety ninety. In, I'll, I'll take your word for it if you tell me. It might be a camera angle. Oh no, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's it now. So get that full dorsiflexion. And drive that foot through the floor. That's it. It's exactly what you want. Now, if you're going to use that chair, what I would suggest is you try to get that front foot closer to the chair. Because that means because if you're using the chair, you, you're always going to lean towards it to get your weight on it for that stability. So the closer that front foot is, the more over the foot you'll be able to be. Yes, just like that. Mate, excellent. And real nice lower. Mm. That's it. That's a great, great way to take us out of the session, mate. Does anyone, any, any questions? Nicely done, Corey. Thank you. That's great mm. stuff. Fellas, bit of magic session once more. They always are, aren't they? <laughs> Great work, really everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Nice. Yeah. Get, well done, everyone. Get your videos in the forum, guys. Thank you. Nice one, Steve. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Set up. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.